Tim Tempest, Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at one of my favorite parking lot locations because guess what? I have one of my favorite cars. This is a 2018 Subaru WRX STI. This particular one is a Type RA edition, which happens to be my very own Type RA. But before we get into this World Rally Blue with the iconic Gold Forge BBS wheels color combination, let's talk about what's going on here. The WRX and the WRX STI has been around since the 1990s. That's when the Impreza came to be. It had been that go-to for so many years for so many rally racers out there. Now, big news on the horizon is the all-new 2022 Subaru WRX and soon to be announced WRX STI. Now, this particular generation behind me happens to be known as the VA generation. That means it went from 2015 all the way to 2021. The new generation of the Subaru w WRX and the upcoming STI is on the first time ever global platform. That is being called the VB, B as in boy chassis. I've had a lot of people reaching out ever since we did the media event with the 2022 WRX a lot of people reaching out saying, hey, Joe, are you going to get rid of your Type RA and go with that 2022 WRX? A lot of people have been arguing and debating and tongue wrestling on the interwebs about what they thought when it came to this new WRX. Many people still haven't even seen it in person, let alone dr have driven it. We have been lucky enough to bring it to you here on Rady's Ride. So, what I want to do with this review is I kind of want to take a look at the VA chassis, that 2015 to 2021 WRX and WRX STI, and I want to talk to all the owners out there that currently have one and maybe have a little discussion of whether you should be getting rid of your current vehicle, that current WRX or STI, and going with the all new, totally redesigned 2022 WRX. So let's go ahead, let's dive into my Type RA, one of just 500. I wanna show you and remind you what's unique about the Type RA, but also touch on those points as we work around the vehicle. So let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out what should you do with your WRX or STI if you should go with the brand new one. Let's find out. Right off the bat, my favorite color combination, World Rally Blue, still available on the 2022 model year and this really is the color that made it for Subaru. Now the fascinating thing, it wasn't like some marketer at Subaru said, you know what, we need to have blue and gold in our rally cars and that will become our iconic color. It all came about because of a British tobacco company that was sponsoring the World Rally cars and that was their color combination, the blue with the gold and that kind of carried over to Subaru. So you have the World Rally Blue Type RA with the Gold Forge BBS wheels, but let's talk about what's going on at the front of the business. So in 2018, all VA chassis, all previous model year VA chassis WRXs and STIs got a refresh, both on the outside and also things underneath the hood. But when you look at the front end of the business, what are some of those changes? On an STI, you'll notice that they went with this very, very large corner air vent. Now the Zonk is, most of it is blocked off, except for this very, very small area here. I wish they would have made this area a little bit larger or made the corner vent a little bit smaller. If you go the WRX route for this VA chassis, they did get a refresh as well. No no actual functional vent, but they do have fog lamps. And just like the new 2022 WRX, you still get the fog lamps. On an STI, you do not. What you do get on the STI are the LED adaptive headlights. So those are gonna move with the steering wheel, the updated LED daytime running lamps. And then on the Type RA, there's a few extra goodies that came from the factory. And remember, they only made one this is one of 500 of them. You can get them in three colors, World Rally Blue, Crystal White Pearl, and the black. Here's one of those things. You actually got from the factory the STI front splitter. Now you can add this through the Subaru parts catalog, but this came 
from the factory, that excellent splitter. As we come across the front end of the business, they wound up changing the grill design for 2018. And you'll notice how they made it a little bit sleeker and extended it out. So it's actually shorter, but wider than say a 2015 STI or WRX. You got that gunmetal metallic black finish to the grill, that iconic Subaru badge, and the Type RA is the one that has the cherry blossom color of the extra stripe, not only on the front grill, but also on the rear. Now, what's interesting is that the 2018 Type RA, which RA stands for record attempt, that's where they broke the record at the Nürburgring, fastest time for a four-door car around that fabled circuit. They've actually had Type RAs previously on other generations, but only available in Japan. This was the first time that it was available in the United States and also Canada. You'll notice that on the 2018 with the refresh, they went with a wider opening on the lower grill, more aggressive. And then there is that STI badging on our front splitter. Now, if you compare this to the new 2022, the 2022 WRX is a little bit wider and the nose actually extends out a little bit further. It actually is more aerodynamic efficient than this previous generation. So something to think about, it's got smaller headlights that look a little bit more modern and the grill, like I said, kind of extends out. Plus on the WRX, you still are getting the fog lamps. Now, when you get up onto the hood, you have the iconic hood scoop. No matter if you're looking at the previous generation or the new WRX, they all get functional hood scoops. Now, what I like about the new WRX is the way they did the scoop. They really made it much wider and they kind of carried the lines into the hood. Still on this particular generation, still looking great. I think my favorite has to be on those blob eyes, the 2004, 2005 hood scoops because the hood scoop was like this. It was this tall, it was awesome. Yeah, it blocked your vision a little bit, but who cares because it just looked killer, but still functional with that top mount intercooler. Now, as we come around the bend, wheels are a, a very particular thing. Now, when you went Type RA in 2018, you actually got these 19 inch Forge BBS wheels, just like they used to have on the previous generations, lighter wheel, stronger wheel, less rotating mass. You also got silver, metallic silver calipers specific to the Type RA and also the S209. But here's the new thing. So on the STI, you got a six piston brake caliper from Brembo instead of the four piston. That was something new. Also the 19 inch wheel, first time on an STI. Now, if you got a WRX, you did get a new design wheel. But what's cool is on the previous generation, on the VA generation of the WRX, in 2018, you could get a performance brake option. And that's where you could get those nice bright red Brembo brake calipers. The problem is on the new WRX, the VB chassis, those are not available. Fingers crossed, they make it happen, but as of right now, they're not available. Now, continuation of the Type RA uniqueness, besides the silver calipers, you can't see it, but underneath the sheet metal, you got Bilstein dampers, all four corners, actually give you better handling. Also, even I think a little bit better ride quality than the standard shock absorber on your STI. And of course, what I love about this generation compared to the new WRX, all painted. No flat black plastic cladding whatsoever. Like I said, I think that's something that's gonna grow on people, but it is kind of terrible in a way that it's not just all beautiful body color match. Now, working your way down the side, you do have your STI badging with the cherry blossom on the Type RA. Type RA received black side badging, whereas your normal STI, your WRX, is gonna be a bright silver. You do have that side vent that extends out. That, unfortunately, is gone on the new WRX. I love that body line right there. It really kind of connects it to that flared fender rally heritage. The biggest news for the WRX STI Type RA for 2018. This was the first ever vehicle from Subaru to have a carbon fiber roof. So you got a full carbon fiber roof that's gonna shave about eight pounds, which may not sound like a lot, but it actually shaves eight pounds 
up top. So you're lowering your center of gravity. You also have the metallic black on your mirror caps. That's another specific thing for the Type RA. And then you got that massive side sill extension. Now, when you're looking at this previous generation, everything is painted. On the new WRX, it's flat black plastic. Now, on the new WRX, I do like the sharp angle that it comes down at, but the fact that it's all not body match kind of looks a little off. So something to think about while you're kind of tossing around, should you hold on to what you have or should you go with that 2022 WRX or the new STI that's gonna be coming down the pipeline? Working our way back, you do have, of course, a, a metallic black on the shark fin antenna on the Type RA. Also, S209, the fastest of this generation, has a carbon fiber roof as well. Coming towards the rear, this is unique to the Type RA and the S29 are the functional vents at the back in that rear bumper area. Love the way the style kind of took right from the global rally cross cars. And then to wrap it out back, of course, on an STI, you're going to have a big wing. Now, normally on your regular STI, you'd have the color matched rally style wing. On the Type RA and the S209, you have a fully adjustable carbon fiber rear wing. Now, don't be fooled. This wing on the Type RA is specific to the Type RA. The S209 has a little bit different carbon fiber wing. The end plates are actually shaped differently. And instead of it saying STI on the end plates, it says S209. So there are some differences between the carbon fiber wing on this car compared to the S209. And then the back, they never really changed it. And I think it's because it just looked really good. I love that nice boxy look. You have the LED brake lights, your Subaru badge with the all-wheel drive, the symmetrical all-wheel drive. Of course, STI, Cherry Blossom with the Type RA. Remember, it stands for record attempt. And as we drop it down, you're gonna have that nice Cherry Blossom stripe. That's part of the tradition when you go S209 or if you go uh, Type RA or any of the S cars, not just the S209. S209 was the first one here in the United States, but any S car or Type RA car, you would have the Cherry Blossom stripe. And then you got your rear diffuser with your quad tip exhaust on this generation. Remember, you have that great sound, that boxer rumble from the unequal length headers on the STI. WRX has the FA motor. That was more the equal length sound to it, but definitely on the back, much nicer than the new WRX because the new WRX has a lot of, pretty much the whole lower bumper is all flat black plastic. But why don't we pop the hood and talk performance numbers between my Type RA and the rest of the bunch. All right, guys, we got the hood popped on my Type RA. We do have hydraulic hood struts. Now, one thing to be aware of, the engine underneath the hood of this car, the EJ, is a very dated engine. It goes back to here in the United States on the first year of the STI, which is 2004. Now, the WRX received a lot of updates throughout the years, especially when the FA motor came out. And guess what? On the new WRX, you got that updated 2.4 flat four turbocharged engine, which is a lot smoother in operation over the EJ. But what are we talking about? We got that top mount intercooler. I love the red intake plenum runners. Everything, And what's great is, is that this is actual aluminum. I love the way, just even on the new WRX, they don't put any plastic. There's not a bunch of plastic all over the place. But what are we looking at? We're looking at that 2.5 liter turbocharged flat four. There was a five horsepower bump. I know it's ridiculous, but a five horsepower bump on the Type RA to make it a 310 horsepower engine, 290 pound feet of torque at 4,000 RPM. And the only available transmission is a six speed manual. In 2018, they revised third gear. So what you're looking at zero to 60 is 4.6 seconds. If you know how to dance with your twinkle toes, the car weighs 3,390 pounds, quarter mile, 13 seconds flat, top speed, 160 miles an hour, MPGs, not the greatest, 16 in the city, 22 on the highway. If you're comparing this to the new WRX, the 2022 WRX, 2022 WRX, almost the same displacement, 2.4 liter flat four turbocharged engine, 271 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque. Now it doesn't have as much horsepower or torque, 
but where the torque comes in is at 2,000 RPM compared to my Type RA is 4,000 RPM. Zero to 60 on the new WRX is around 4.9 seconds. Quarter mile goes by at 13.5 seconds. Top speed 145 miles per hour. MPGs is where you're gonna come out the true winner. 19 in the city, 26 on the highway. And that's the thing is that with the new WRX, yes, it is all new. They did take the engine from the Legacy XT or the Outback XT, that 2.4 liter turbocharged engine and dropped it into the vehicle. Remember the Type RA has specific pistons unique to this setup that eventually wound up winding up with some changes in the next model years after 2018. Plus they reprogrammed the ECU. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire up my Type RA and hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside my 2018 WRX STI Type RA. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I'm really, really taking a look at the previous generation, at the new WRX, but I think price is gonna come down to it as well. Now, a Type RA like mine brand new, which I didn't buy mine brand new, I actually bought it pre-owned one year old from the original owner, had an MSRP of $49,000. The S209, had an MSRP of $63,000. If you're looking at a standard STI base model, you're looking at around MSRP previous generation, MSRP around $37,000. WRX started around $25,000, $26,000. No official pricing yet on the new WRX, but they're expecting it to be starting close to around $30,000 and no word yet on the STI, the new STI. Now, if you're looking obviously at used car market, right now prices are super high, higher than they've ever been in history, but that's another thing you're gonna have to take into consideration, whether you're gonna go old gen, or if you're gonna go with the new WRX, but let's see what you're getting if you go old gen to the door panels. Still getting some nice, clean style for a WRX STI. If you look over the years, they really did up their game every generation soft touch material the alcantara material in the center is real great with the red contrast stitching i totally zonk the gloss black around the switch gear it just creates a big dust and fingerprint problem door pocket is on the tighter side so maybe two pop tarts and a bottle of milk to wash it down if you're looking at the new wx door panel much cleaner much more modern style and materials now going from the door panel to the dash same story comparing the old with the new. You have the soft touch material, some gloss black on my Type RA, and then you're gonna get that older split screen setup. So you have a smaller, little bit over four inch infotainment system display up top, has your boost gauge, you could scroll through, have a clock, all the different readouts that you want, easy to get to. And then you have your separate infotainment system screen on the Type RA, it's a base system. No navigation, no Apple CarPlay, no Android Auto, and it's only a seven inch system, seven inch screen. If you look at the new WRX, and I'll have that review at the end of this one, it's got the new 11.6 inch single screen. And all the readouts like your boost gauge are now brought over to the instrumentation. And we'll talk more about that in a second. Older style AC controls, but the great news is you do get dual climate on the STI, especially the Type RA. And up top, it shows you your temperature readouts on both sides for each passenger, which is nice. You have a Twinkie tray that will fit at least eight Twinkies and a 12 volt. I like the changes that they made on 2018 by adding some nice material around the sides here. You got the STI badge that lights up at night when you turn on the lights. Some more of that pesky gloss black, but this is the magic right here. You got that sweet, shifting six-speed manual transmission. Now remember, with an STI, 
you are getting a unique transmission. It is not the same transmission as the previous generation WRX or definitely the new WRX. So it's one of those things that once you drive it, you kind of get an idea for it and you know why STIs cost more. The Type RA has the bright red on the shift knob top where the gear pattern is. Of course, Type RA, you get the required badge, number badge, number 55 of 500. We have our SI drive controller and the ability that center diff control to send power to the front or the rear. The STI is the only vehicle that has this. The WRX does not have this. The STI does. And then nice sliding cover for your two cup holders. Good old fashioned mechanical e-brake, heated seats. The new WRX has multiple levels of heated seats. This is either high or low. So if you wanna have more adjustment, the new WRX brings you that. I zonk the heck out of the armrest. Very, very low, but I do like the Alcantara and then the seats. In the Type RA, I do have the Recaros, but they really aren't like regular Recaros. The bolstering doesn't really hold you in very well. And the seat bottoms are your stock STI seat bottoms. They're not special Recaros or anything like that. Manual adjustments for the passenger. The new seats and the new WRX are just that good. I like them way better than these Recaros. Plenty of headroom, but why don't you get your butt over here at the business end. I want to show you behind an Alcantara wrapped steering wheel in my Type RA. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel in my Type RA. Now, all STIs, this previous generation, get STI on the sill plate, nice aluminum sill plates. And of course, whether you go WRX or STI, you're going to get an aluminum dead pedal, clutch, brake pedal, and throttle. And this pedal box is set up just like a race car. The reason why is, is because it gives you that perfect heel toe downshifting, whether you're going WRX or STI on this particular trim. I do have electric seats for the driver. And then because this is a Type RA, just like the S209, we have an Alcantara wrap steering wheel. Standard would be leather, of course. And the new WRX has that new D-shaped steering wheel, which is even a little bit nicer to hold onto than this previous generation wheel manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel and remember the steering in the sti on the ej motor is hydraulic so you are going to get that nice feeling and feedback from the hydraulic steering compared to the electric steering in a wrx whether it's 2022 or the previous gen now gauges are simple and straightforward backlit led analog tack speedometer coolant fuel gauge and of course you got the STI badge and then you got a small digital display in the center which you could show off the SI drive and also show the adjustments to that center diff which remember is unique to the WRX plus uh, excuse me to the STI plus you have a gear indicator now on the new 2022 WRX all the information that you saw in that top gauge cluster where my boost gauge was that's all going to be now in the small display on the new generation of the WRX. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see how this generation compares to the new global architecture of the 2022 WRX when it comes to space for your passengers in this car. All right, guys, back seat time. And no matter if you're going previous VA generation or the new VB on the global architecture, you're getting plenty of room now. With the new global architecture, you do get a little bit more passenger room. And plus, you're also getting a stronger, more rigid chassis than you are with this particular generation. Back seats, though, plenty of room. You do have pockets for those rally style Twinkies on both sides. And we have these fancy little flip down cup holders kind of tuck out of the way. The big zonk is no USB, no 12 volt, and you don't even get that on the new WRX, which doesn't make any sense. It'll be interesting to see what the new STI brings on the Type RA. We have the red seat belts. That gives you an additional five horsepower for everybody. But why don't we check out the trunk and see how much junk we could put in my Type All RA. Right, guys, time to get into that trunk space. One of the great news is, whether you're looking for a previous generation or the new WRX, you're gonna get a ton of trunk space and a lot of trunk capacity. They did that on purpose because they know that people use their vehicles 
as daily drivers and as those vehicles to go to the track. So what are we looking at? You're looking at 12 cubic feet of space in the trunk of this previous generation WRX STI. If you go with the new WRX, you're gonna get a little bit more room. It is on the new global architecture. It's 13 cubic feet, but to me, it's about how the car makes you feel. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's share some feelings and go on throttle in my Type RA. All right, guys, we're in my 2018 Subaru WX STI Type RA on throttle. Here we go. Yeah. Nice. Love the feedback from the hydraulic steering. Really allows you to know what those front wheels are doing. And of course that symmetrical all-wheel drive keeping us planted. Nice left-right transition. It's one of those very unique driving experiences that if you're going for a VA Gen STI, you're gonna get that old school turbo rally car experience. And what I mean by that is that the power really does not come in until about 4,000 RPM. So it's like, wait, 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 and then it kicks. Whereas with the 2022 WRX, definitely more refined with the 2.4 liter flat four turbocharged engine, power comes in much lower, and they did one hell of a job with the chassis really making it more structurally rigid than this chassis is, and also giving you a little bit more space as well. Sitting in the seat, it's more like saying sitting on the seat. With these recalls, you don't feel like you're in them. You feel like you're on them, and that's really not the best way to go. They're comfy, especially on longer drives, but on left, right transitions, it's not holding you in very well. The WRX, the new 2022 WRX seats, just trump these big time. All right, guys, <laughs> let's do this again. I'm gonna slow down to a slow roll. I got it in sport sharp. All right, well, here we go. So you're waiting and then it comes in all the way up to red line. Here we go. Yeah, on the brakes. Nice heel toe downshifts. Really keep it high up on the R's and you will be in the power band. The six speed manual on this is so much better than the WRX for sure. All right guys, on throttle, here we go. Third gear. Yeah. I just love the way she pulls all the way to red line. Really, really nice. Nice heel toe downshift there. Oh my God, I love this car. It, it, every time I drive her, it, it, she just reminds me how much I love her and why I went back to Subaru after having the Type R, after having the Ford Focus RS. All right, guys, here we go. One more time for me, one more time for you. On throttle. Yeah. It's been a fun-filled day behind the wheel of my 2018 Subaru WRX STI Type RA. So what are you gonna do? Should you go out and look for a previous model year, that VA generation of a WRX or an STI, or should you go and pull the trigger on a new WRX or the upcoming STI? Let me know what you think in the comments section which way you're gonna go. I know that she is a keeper and I love my Type RA. It means a lot to me being behind the wheel of this fantastic car. But if you wanna 
Keep seeing reviews like these and you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Got to give it up to the queen behind the camera. She's wearing her crown proudly and showing us the great angles. Show Lori some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.